So in this video, we're gonna build a uh, mine bender puzzle. Okay, it's got uh, two ropes. You can pull on each side, and you got a pin that you need to take out. So it does rotate and come back on one side, and then it goes, and it doesn't come out. Okay, there's a function, and I'll show you how how to build it. Uh, for the people that actually tried my puzzle, uh, they never uh, never could take the pin out, but it does come out, and I'll show you how. The metal I use for the pin is a uh, coal roll 5 8 inch uh, diameter. The first step of making my pin, I cut a slice about uh, 5 16th of an inch thick. Then for the rest of my pin, I had to cut two other pieces that are 3 and 7 8 of an inch. Then I brought those two uh, 5 8 uh, pin to my drill press and I uh, did some holes. Uh, those holes are uh, slightly bigger than uh, than the nail itself. Then I marked and I cut two two slices uh, perpendicular to each other, so at 90 degrees. So I did that uh, on my uh, two uh, my two pieces. Then I removed some materials of uh, two legs. Uh, they were opposite side of each other. So before I start welding, I just uh, took the time to uh, clear all the uh, the burrs with the file and making sure that uh, my little nail would uh, slide back and forth pretty easy. And this is a good time to do it. So. I use the vise to uh, clamp those two pieces together uh, so I can actually uh, weld it. So once welded, I needed to uh, cut a, uh, a slice of material uh, so that uh, my nail would uh, be able to slide back and forth in between that piece and and uh, the other one I'm, I'm gonna be welding in a second. I use my vise to make sure that my pin uh, would be straight and then I uh, I start welding my piece, my pieces together. And after that, it was uh, just a matter of removing all the the excess uh, material. I cut seven inch out of a uh, two by six, and I removed the sides, and I kept them to make caps. With the help of my forcer bit, I create a cavity at the bottom of my pump, and then I use my chisel to clean the uh, the leftover material. The cavity at the bottom of my uh, puzzle was made for this nut that I drilled two holes, uh, and I had a uh, rope with a uh, knot right in the center. I need to close the end. I just use the cap, and I drill two holes so I can feed my uh, my rope with uh, the nut, and then I glued it to the bottom with uh, wood glue. Then, with the clamp, I uh, let it sit uh, overnight. The next day, I made sure that uh, all my holes were lined up. Uh, there's uh, two holes we can see, one made with the forstner bit and the other one with a drill bit that's deep enough for my nail to slide in and disappear when it's all the way down. And then uh, it comes out easy. And uh, my uh, pin that I worked so hard on uh, 
the nail can actually block it and the uh, magnet holds the uh, nail in place so that the uh, the pin doesn't slide out but you still got the effect of uh, the motion uh, the next thing I need to do is uh, glue up the uh, the cap and then a little bit of sanding and the job is done So when you have this, and I tested with a lot of people I work with, and with my dad after a year, he gave up one year. He didn't play with it every day, obviously. Uh, this is the key to the, the whole thing. Uh, the holes are bigger, and it makes it uh, a lot looser in the hole, and then uh, tighter, and then looser. And then when you start pulling on this device here, which is, something that uh, doesn't even do anything and you start look, listening and moving so you've got the device that uh, locks it in place and easy and it's not any in, in before I, I made it to uh, the end of my device to this pin okay that has uh, three different pieces okay that has uh, drill holes that makes it bigger and when you got it in your hand it makes a a big difference okay it's got some loose I started with this okay that was the uh, gift I wanted to give to my dad but it didn't have a lot of uh, motion when a quarter turn quarter turn a little bit deeper so that's why I came up with this one I also uh, came up with this one which is a, a screw-in type device uh, it's got a different uh, different box uh, it doesn't have a hole that goes all the way, but it still has the same de locking device inside that we made. That I mean, okay, and it screws all the way in, screws all the way out. Forgot to lock it. Okay, so now it's locked, and it falls the, the whole thing inside. Uh, it's got the uh, this one's on the spring. Okay, compared to the, uh, the other ones that are sliding. So, if you did like my video, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, and if you haven't done so, please subscribe. I have tendency to put one every week, so check out next week.